YouTube, what up? It's your boy, Trey. Is all right. What you're about to see is a clip from my daily show in the afternoon where we discuss the entertainment industry, movies, TV shows, video games, and all of the woke disasters surrounding it. All right. If you want to be a part of the show, interact with me or my audience, then you're going to want to catch us live at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday. And if you are a gamer and you or you just want to chat with me in general, then catch us at 6.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, YouTube, Twitch, where we play some of the most recent video games or whatever game my audience wants me to play at that time i look forward to seeing you there now enjoy the video what makes you think that i'm an answer if you ain't mine even if you call me up on my story which is a personal favorite of mine apparently footage of jet set radio and persona 3 remakes have seemingly leaked i don't give a fuck about persona i mean i like persona but that's not as important as Jet Set Radio. Who here has played Jet Set Radio? Future. Or Jet Grind Radio, whichever whichever one. Uh, Twitter user AV to game Noyami posted a video on Sunday which shows Yakari from uh, Persona 3 firing magical arrows in footage that looks more detailed than Persona 3 usually does. This is followed by early preview footage of Sonic Frontiers, and then there's a brief five second clip that appears to show Beat from Jet Set Radio dancing. The video has text in the corner of the screen that uh, reads footage and development. According to AV to Game No Yami, the footage is from Sega Japan's internal meeting held in 2021. Um, get out of here. Stop. Bruh. Um, here it is. Hold on, let me see if I can. Would you get the fuck out? <clears throat> Gather myself. Take these headphones off. Um, uh, here is, here is a picture, but I want to see, let's show off the, uh, the the video if you haven't played jet set radio future i don't like i feel bad for you <laughs> this person says it's been three thousand years love her love it here here it is this is the video of beat dancing so jet set radio is a skating game will you get out of here stop messaging me Um, God damn it. Jet Set Radio Future Leak uh, ties in with the rumors we shared last July. Oh, so Jet Set Radio is a skating game uh, where you run around spray painting the city, doing tricks and all type of stuff. It has a uh, pretty decent story. Uh, you play as a rebel in the city and you're fighting off all type of police gangs and other uh, street gangs and stuff like that. It's a blast. It's a blast from the past. Matter of fact, I might be able to even show uh, some um, some footage. Uh, Honey says, yeah, I do my best. I'm a streamer, artist, and I work full time and spend time in some communities. Right. She says, I love Jet Set. Sibo uh, Motto is my favorite man, and that game is out. And in, in that game and outside of it, I started to, uh, Reese says I started to play Persona 3, never finished. Uh, Honey says, I love Cuban gum. Facts. Those are my girls. It's about skating games and tagging. Amazing soundtrack. I seen her at my job. She carried herself oh so well. I made myself a promise. What's that? Not to get emotional. That, that game is legendary, dude. Hold on, let me see. Let's see if I can get some Jet Set Radio Future. Show y'all some of this. Okay, let's, let's, let's. Here we go. I don't know if it's copyright music, though. There's corn. (laughs) 
Yeah, this is DJ Professor K, baby, the master of mayhem, know what I'm saying? Bring you another Tokyo Underground Pirate Radio broadcast genius that goes by the name of Korn. These three in your garden variety street punk, know what I'm saying? Lately, Tokyo's been... This is Yo. I think his, what, his name is Yo, right? Uh-oh. I love this song too, but I think it's copyright. It's kind of blurry. Yikes. I ain't a winner. Got a hot hand. This game is like a culture defining game. So the way that I got it, the way that I got it was when I first, so here, this is the story about how I got into Xbox. So my, um, my stepfather had a PS2, PlayStation 2, and he bought it for himself. He liked to play Tekken, Madden, and, and, and other stuff, right? We wanted a PlayStation 2 as well because that he was stingy. You know what I'm saying? He, he one of them people that like to let you watch him play it and you think you're going to get a chance to play the game. And then he'd be like, all right, time for bed. What the bitch hating ass. So anyway... One day I'm at school and um, my mom comes and picks me up with my auntie. She picks me up from school early and she tells me to put my book bag in the trunk. I open up the trunk and there's an Xbox back there. Now, I knew it wasn't mine. How I knew it wasn't mine was because, well, not that we were poor or anything like that during that time, but yeah, I, I had one of them parents that every time you ask for something, she'd be like, you got money for that? You know what I'm saying? Like, so there was no chance this Xbox was mine, right? So I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. I was like, that must belong to my cousin, because my cousin, he get everything, right? He gets everything he wants. So, get in the car, ride home. Uh, uh, we get in the house, we clean up, you know, whatever the case may be. And then my stepdad comes in. He's like, all right, time to open up Xbox. I said, what? I don't even know why I was getting this Xbox at the time. I don't know if I had uh, um, good grades at the time. I don't know if I had saved somebody's life or something. I don't know why I was getting this Xbox at the time, but I was getting it. So we went in there. We opened up the Xbox, hooked it up to our little fat back TV. Oh, my goodness. And um, I just remember turning it on, and it had the OG Xbox uh, boot up system. And the only game we had was the game that came with it, which was Sega 2002, which was a racing game, by the way. Uh, it had the uh, Ford GT concept on the front. And then on the back of it, it had uh, Just Say Radio Future. And I played the hell out of that game. That is one of, That is my first Xbox game ever. It was exclusive to xbox and uh i mean i don't know xbox if they were smart they would try to secure the rights to this one because that game was amazing the soundtrack was amazing now nowadays I, I believe that the hardship that they was having remaking the game and bringing it back or even putting it on the xbox at all was due to copyright with the music all that music they had on there there was copyright issues so um I'm surprised to actually hear it's coming back, but you know, I'm I'm hoping and praying that um that uh we get that again. Uh, yeah, I have ten, honey. Understand the concept of love. Oh, the concept of ooh, you getting me started. You getting me started. Oh, I want to go. I, I I here's the thing. I own the game. Matter of fact. One second.
Here we go. Here it is. I own this. I own this, ladies and gentlemen. Here is um, Sega GT 2002, right? And uh, I can't play it. <laughs> I can't play it because I don't have an OG Xbox anymore. And you can't play it on a Series X. Why is Madden 20 in here? Apparently, I've never opened this. Because I believe after ordering it online, I found out I couldn't play it on the Series X. But apparently, the game came with Madden 20, and I didn't know it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but okay. All right, can't even trade it in. It ain't worth nothing. You know a Madden game ain't worth nothing. Even the newer versions ain't worth nothing. All right, here's another game that I have on the on the uh, original Xbox that uh, I can't play, and I'm butthurt about it. Who remembers this? Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? This... Was this best was the best Spider Man game ever to me? Ever, the best one. Period. Can't even play it. Can't even play it. All right. Um. Let's let's um. Let's let's get into these comments. Uh. So happy to find more people into those games. Facts. Yo yo. Uh. Slap paw base on that one track. Woo. Don't get me started, Dar uh, Darzell. Uh, Honey says, I miss my CRT TV so much. I do not miss those TVs. You can have those TVs. I like the TVs we got now. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, classic stepdad buying Goodwill. <laughs> uh, Shin Shinmu 2 was my favorite Xbox game. Then Jet Set, to, uh, Jet Set Radio. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I, I got to put Halo up there. Halo. Um, Honey says, I still have mine's radical. Darcel Save says, pretty sure Halo uh, Combat Evolved was my first Xbox game, unsurprisingly. So my thing with that is, so this is my first encounter with Halo, right? So with Halo, um, remember we used to get the demo disc? You have, to, you have that disc with all the demos on it. I got this demo disc that had, and you might remember this one. Uh, I got this demo disc that had a bunch of games on it, but the two games I played, the three games I played on it the most, oh, y'all gonna love this. Y'all gonna love this. Ghost Recon, I forgot what it was, but we played the hell out of that, right? Ghost Recon, Kung Fu Chaos. Who remembers Kung Fu Chaos? Everybody was Kung Fu fight. Man, I gotta bring that up for y'all. I got to bring that up for y'all. Hold on. Man, that was an amazing game. And I only had the demo. Man, that was an amazing game. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, my goodness. That game was... Hold on. We got, I'm going to play it for y'all. I'm going to play it for y'all. Guys, to remember this. Jeez, those character models were terrible. Hold on. And come to think of it, this gameplay didn't look that bad for the time it was in. We talking about 2001. Unlocked. Action fight stunt! Throw everything! 
Well, the game was a lot more fun than what this person is making the game look like. But anyway, uh, you you get the just there, right? So there was that. There was that Kung Fu Chaos was the crack, and then the third game we would play on there was um Fusion Frenzy. I don't need to show y'all that because y'all already know it. It, there's no way you ever played an Xbox and you didn't play Fusion Frenzy. So anyway, so on that demo disc, we play all of those games. and uh, But the one game that was on the front of the goddamn demo disc was Halo, and it was unplayable. But they did have a clip. There was this clip of these dudes. It was the first time where they had, like, multiplayer. a bunch of dudes. They had their... Uh, they had their uh, Xboxes connected to each other. And they were playing each other. It was like a competition. It was like the first versions of like uh, competition, uh, Halo multiplayer. You get what I'm saying? I had to get that game. I went and got Halo, and oh my goodness, combat evolved. Such a such a uh, such an experience. But we we've been stuck on this for a while now. <laughs> We're going down memory lane. Let's read more comments. Uh, Darcel says he does remember it. He owned it. He says, yep. I remember, uh, Reed says, I remember demo disc would come out with kids meals sometimes or on or in cereal. If you're hearing that in my background, um, the apartment complex shut off, had an emergency shut off of the water. And they're probably cutting it back on. It's probably water going through the pipes and stuff like that. Darcel Save says, I played Soul Calibur and Dead or Alive 3 the most on the air. Soul Calibur. Who don't get me started using Spawn. What was that? Soul Calibur 2? I believe it was. Spawn was my favorite character. Okay. Let's move on, guys. We can, we can go down memory lane all day. Beat that thing down like you started attention, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Slide to the curler like Dracula's mansion, my baby. When you pull up, it's on action, my baby.